We don't want to argue. Yeah, wrap this up. <laughs> Me the meeting will come to order. Uh, you don't have your gavel. I know. I left it at the office. Oh. But I think it'll be legal anyway. So welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. Sorry for the, uh, the postponement last time. I hope it didn't uh, interfere too much with your, your schedules to, to move it. But uh, I think we're back on track now. So, And I understand there's some kind of sporting event tonight that we want to uh, move things along. So we'll do the best we can. Uh, so first on the agenda is a notice of intent for 9 Shawmut Road. Yeah, I think that's totally different. Totally different. Those, those, the notices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, see, that's not. I, I was wondering how it's the proper pronunciation is it. And you said it as. Shaman. 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 That's the way my father spell says it. So. Oh, okay. Do we have any small maps? Uh, did you bring the, there's, there's none in that stack? That's right. Uh, not really. They're, My next career. Uh, yeah, they're all kind of the same. Give you a, they shouldn't be all. Yeah, well, I, I don't. Do you need a plan, Abe? I need a list of the butters. A uh, list of the butters. It should be in the notice of intent, I'm sure. Okay, here's a small plan. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a new Anybody else need one? But I've got a large one if anybody wants. I think a small plan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll read the notice. According to the provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, there will be a hearing on a notice of intent submitted by Robert Iafredi for the construction of a driveway within associated grading within the buffer to a bordering vegetated wetland. Location of the project is 9 Shawmut Road, map 65, block 4, lot 24-9. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Larry Silva from Silver Engineering Offices at 1615 Bedford Street in Bridgewater. And um, we're here tonight uh, for a proposed home on, on the end of an uh, existing cul-de-sac. And uh, so if you look in the, the top right-hand corner of the focus, you can see that the lots we're showing uh, extends back. Uh, I guess the tail end of it is what was known as Betty's Neck Road in the back. But this is at the end of the, end of the cul-de-sac that is here. And the resource area that was delineated is uh, actually off the lot itself, uh, but adjacent uh, to the property. Um, and it was done by Ken Thompson. Uh, it was done in uh, October of last uh, year, October 23rd. And the proposed work, the activity is, uh, as you can see here, the, the buffer zone uh, doesn't actually even uh, reach where the, the actual house is proposed on the septic. Um, but it does, um, it's right on the sort of the top of the, the area where the grade starts to come down uh, towards that wetland area. Uh, we have a wetland, uh, we have a retaining wall that would be uh, off the backside of the proposed house to try to manage those grades and not chase them down the hill. And uh, so, and this is a drive under design so that we keep that grade down on this side. So as you can see, by the lines that are here, the black lines that are here, there's not a lot of grading chasing anything uh, in the direction of where the resource area is. So from the, the house corner to the closest wetland flag is 110 feet. Uh, what can that be? That makes sense. It's pretty far away. So it's yeah, 110 feet, because the 100 foot buffer zone is just right there, mm -hmm. so you can see how out of the driveways within it, and just some of that uh, grading towards the uh, towards the edge. Even the proposed well <coughs> is just outside of the hundred foot uh, buffer zone. Uh, so it's a minimal um, uh, min minimal issue in terms of uh, potential risk to to the resource area. So that's what we're uh, proposing. We tried to keep the design as far over to the left as possible without being so close that there'd be no. Um, buffer to the neighboring property. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That's, what, that's it. <laughs> okay. I'll try to keep it. Well, no, you want to go first? Yeah. Um, 
I don't see any problem with it. Um, the wetland was delineated accurately. It's it's really a, a ponded area down there at the base of the slope. Um, and you, like you said, Larry, you've kept the work as far out of the buffer zone as possible. There is a lot of earth moving that's going to occur, however, and I was wondering whether you think that um, your erosion control, it looks like it's just a, um, it was, um, what do they call it, those? A straw, those, a waddle. Yeah. Is that, a 12, is that it's a 12 inch diameter one, though. 12 inch diameter. Not, not the small, um, right. make believe right. waddles there. Right, right. You find that's going to be adequate? Um, well, detail for them. Yeah, you can also yeah. have 12 in it as well. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty steep slope, and it's really, it, the topography is like all over the place out there, so yeah. I would think you're going to have to really nail those things in, stake them down, and then, you know, just make sure that during construction that they're they're holding because this yeah and I would say holding. yeah and, and I would say that if it looks like it's problematic at that point, that may be a condition that says that, you know, it was, should be supplemented with a silt fence if. Uh, you know, if it's if it's not sufficient, you know, in terms of, of terms of uh, providing the protection. Yep. Other than that, I don't have any problem with it, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Yeah, we had some concerns at first when we looked at it, uh, seeing those slopes, how mm -hmm. steep they were, and worried about uh, the setback from uh, the the property line and the wetlands. So you right. did a good job of uh, kind of getting everything off to the side there with minimal impact. Yeah. Well, we tried not to make it so that it's you know, uh, has the potential for an issue. Right, right. So. Let me ask you about the um, <clears throat> the wall that, that you have shown, uh, the retaining wall. Uh, that design and construction is going to be by others? Yeah, right. by others. So, so in other words, um, it'll be by a pre-engineered uh, manufacturer, mm -hmm. uh, Stone Strong or, or, or otherwise, you know, uh, similar to that. So... Um, I try to keep it as flexible in case they want to go to a different manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, it should be something that is uh, definitely not uh, makeshift. It really should be something. How tall is the wall? It's um, it, it is the top of the wall at, to the rear of the house is 100 mm -hmm. uh, at elevation 108. The grades on the on the low side of it are one is 10 is 100 is the lowest. I'd say. Mm -hmm. So it's really it's an eight foot at one location there, but it's. Um, you know, it comes down pretty fast on, towards the tail end. Uh, the grades on the, on the back side of it are really 106. So we're leaving the wall up higher than the grade. Okay, to, so that we don't want to have it so somebody can go over the edge right. of it. So there's a reveal on the wall itself. So when you have uh, a design and uh, a contractor online, I'd appreciate it if you'd let us know and give us a copy of the, uh, the, the proposed plan. I, I would suggest that you actually put that as a condition. That that will be a condition, yeah. yes. Yeah, and we certainly will. Okay. 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 Anyone else have a question or comment? And the sit back in the back of the property, uh, how close are you to the uh, to the, the neighbor? To the back well we have a neighbor to the side. All right. Isn't there a roadway or something that's not too far it's, off the property uh, line? Betty's Neck Road is, I guess, part of it actually intersects the, the slot in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, because um, that's pretty far back. I think, uh, yeah. dimension. Not that we have a dimension shown here, but it's, it's a pretty good distance to the back. Yeah, it's a pretty big size lot, isn't it? It is a good size lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah, one of the conditions, Larry, is that you um, put the erosion control in and then give us a call so we can look at it. So yes. I think that would be a good opportunity to, you know, see if we agree that that's sufficient and right. based on where it is and the right. And it, during the process of actually when they're putting it in, um, you know, we recognize that, you know, that some of it may not be. We may have it doubled up before you even get there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm good, so. Is uh, the initial inspection of erosion control still part of our standard conditions? It yes. Is. Yes. yes, it okay. is. Okay, so if I just conclude standard conditions in a motion, that would suffice mm -hmm. for? Well, there was one other condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 there's two but, others. Right, uh, but I'm not sure that, do we really need the retaining wall one other than just as a courtesy because it's outside the buffer zone? Both sections are beyond 100 foot. Yeah, well, only because there's no there are no specifications in this in this plan here, so we have no chance to review it. Um, but it's it's true; it is out of our jurisdiction, so it is really a courtesy. Would you mind just supplying with the engineering? It's really not something that would uh, deny I, anything. Or just for no, I don't, see, I, guess. I don't see a reason. I mean, it, it, it is jurisdictionally outside of it, but I understand the, the concern. So. Would you entertain a motion? Yes, it will. Okay. Uh, I make a motion to close the hearing for 9 Neshamet Road, issue an order of conditions uh, with the special condition to supplement the silt fence, uh, supplement the existing erosion control if there's any sign of compromise with additional silt fence. Uh, we will want a copy of the approved engineering for the retaining wall system that is chosen by standard manufacturers. That's correct. Documentation in our board standard order of condi uh, standard conditions. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Signature page. Thanks. Thank you. Do they always say nothing when we pass them around? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're not the first one to sign it. Maybe that's what you're thinking. Well, I see that you got a number on it already. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a DEP number. It's just like on MASH when Radar would have the colonel sign everything <laughs> right. without <Okay>. reading. <laughs> Do you want that back? That's fine. That's a signature page I'm circulating. So we want our name. Yeah. Can you feel the power just flowing through oh, the yeah. pen? <laughs> it's the first time, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, we should have hauled out the special gold plated pen. Yeah. How come I never got the gold plated pen? <laughs> yeah, we well, never got the yeah, so. yeah. It's a new thing we started. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's my agenda. Next is another note NOI for a 35 Shore Ave. And I think we have a. According to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, you will be hearing on a notice of intent by Mark and Sandra Bruce for the installation of a new tight tank and decommission of existing cesspool within an inland resource area and within the buffer zone to a resource area. Location of the project is 35 Shore Ave, Map 41, Block 9, Lot 12. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Please. Anybody else want to plan? Yeah, I'll go next one. Joe. Yeah, what is this for this? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's in the notice of intent, Joe. Yep. Well, I think that when we're all done uh, tonight, <clears throat> if you want to keep maps or files, that's fine, uh, as long as I get two back for the file copy. Mm -hmm. And just if you just don't want them, just give them back to me anyway. Yeah, um, we'll pass it back. I'm going to recycle them. Uh, some of the engineers have actually asked for the, um, the plastic, too, so I'm going to try and do that. Thanks. How do you do? Good. How you doing? My name is Bob Forbes. I'm Zena Consulting Engineers. 
Um, this project is an existing house on Shore Avenue. It's on Long Pond in the back, on the front of the it's all around it. Um, it's a, and what we we're simply proposing to, uh, is an existing uh, cesspool located uh, on the floor right outside, and we're going to decommission that and put in a, a tight tank in that location. And uh, this, just to um, give you a little more information on it, it is in the floodplain. Um, <clears throat> the entire, essentially the entire lot is in the floodplain. And uh, we're in the uh, buffer zone to the plant pond also. So we don't have much opportunity to move this if you look at the, mm -hmm. if you look at the uh, setbacks yeah. and things. It's kind of where the only place it can really go on the lot. <clears throat> yeah, I um, look at it and I, I, I agree there's really no other place to, to put it. And, um, you know, there's no filling. So uh, it doesn't trigger any standards under the bordering land subject to flooding. And you set it as far back as you can from the resource areas. And uh, I don't know that there's really anything else that we could add to it to offer really additional protection. Other than, you know, I assume you're going to revegetate the whole thing of course, afterwards. Yes. And yep. that would be the only thing I would ask <clears throat> you to do. Is this seasonal right now? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure. I'm just wondering if, if while you're working, if you're going to have to, how long you're going to have to shut down the system and when, what mm -hmm. the timing is. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Yet to be determined? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's a tight tank, so they're going to have to pump, you know, it's going to be pumped for the rest of time anyway. Mm -hmm. so. Right, right. <clears throat> that's not inexpensive. No, it isn't. It's the last option. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. We've mentioned it because it's seasonal. Yeah. yeah. Right. But anything's an improvement. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Can I make a motion? Uh, one second. I just, I just let me flip through my thing and make sure I don't have any other comments. Nope, I don't see any. Motion to close the hearing for an NOI on 35 Shore Avenue and issue a standard order of conditions. And no, no special, right? We didn't. We're just the board's special conditions that we always apply. Yeah, yeah. the standard order of conditions. Okay. Right. So we have a motion. Um, do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Okay, another signature page. Oh. With you again there. And on that note, on special conditions, I know we've gone back and forth over time. Do we call them standard conditions, <laughs> special standard there, conditions? There, there should be standard. super standard. Well, I think standard, standard, and then if we have anything in addition, yeah. that mm. should it be becomes, a special. That yeah. change is coming. Just, yeah. so just to get the language. Yeah. Straight, so that there's there's no understanding, uh, but that's in the works. So just so you know. The more you give her all the notices, the shorter. Ah, okay, that's the early one. Yeah. Okay.
write everybody else out. Yep. I'll read the notice. According to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, Wellness Protection Act, there will be a hearing on a request for determination of applicability by Donald B. Sinet for the temporary access to the rear upland portion of the site for percolation testing within the resource area and the 100 foot buffer zone to a bordering vegetated dwelling. Location of the project is 195 Bedford Street, map 26. Lot 4, Lot 19. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Double train station. Is there a plan? I think it's a big plus. All right. I'm going to take a look at that. Yeah. I threw the other ones out of the office. Same family owned it. So this is where the change yeah. was. Okay. And they also said they changed this. But we'll see. Yeah. yeah. How do you do? Good. Bob Forbes, who's in the consulting engineers again. I don't know if you need the ad. Do you need the ad? Yeah. Oh, we just ahead. read it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, thank um, you. So this project is on Bedford Street. Um, we're about halfway in between the Crooked Lane intersection and Route 79 intersection on the west side of the road. Um, so the plan that we originally submitted, the, the owner of the land um, had the wetlands flagged. Um, and we went out and got those sur uh, flags surveyed, in, and that's the plan that you guys originally got. Um, we had our wet, um, we had our wetland specialist go out and look at it. It was Bob Gray from Sebastia, and he um, disagreed a little bit with a couple of the flags. We actually moved one of the flags further into the site, and we moved a couple of them away here. So the original plan that we submitted shows a couple of crossings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we I just we resubmitted that plan just so you guys would know. It probably, and I'm not sure if Lenore agrees with this or not, but it's probably only going to be one crossing. The only thing we're asking you to do here is to get out there and do a perk test on this location. Um, we're not asking for the line to be approved at this time. So all we're doing is asking for permission to cross that wetland right here, this little section of wetland, and get back there to do the perk test. If the thing does perk and we get in the, uh, the uh, applicant um, wants to move forward, obviously we'd be coming in with a full notice from the or whatever's out there. Okay. I did look at the line originally with the original plan, and I agreed with the wetland line because in that area that the change was, that first area, it's, it's very discreet. I mean, there's a clear break in slope and it drops right down. So maybe the flags were a little bit up on the bank, but you know, it seemed to me that, okay, you know, you're not in the wetland. So then Jamie came in at 4.30 today yeah. with the revised plan. And <laughs> That's I at the same time I saw the revised plan. Talked to him about it. I said, well, you know, the wetland in that area did not change. Okay. The wetland hasn't changed any. The only thing that's changed is the flags that show on your plan. So okay. I was a little bit confused as that's, to... And again, we're not asking for that. So you do have the plan that shows. So I think what you're saying, Lenore, is kind of, you're in more agreement with the original drawing that we submitted. Well, it, so you know, I don't know where the property line is. All I know is, okay, you know, here's the wetland flags. And your original plan showed that you were going right through that area, through the wetland. Right. So, so and then I said, well, that doesn't really make any sense because it's right up gradient. It's upland. Yeah. But I thought, well, you... You, it's somebody else's property. You, you, you couldn't access it. So then he came in with the revised plans and said the flags have been changed. I'm like, well, the wetland flags shouldn't change because that, that wetland was, like I said, it's at the base of the yeah. slope. There's no way, you know, that's going to change. So and, and again, we're not asking for the wetland line to be fixed at this time. So um, if that's your opinion, what I would suggest is just using that original plan that shows the two, two crossings. So there's a little finger of wetlands here. Well, that's it's really more about the survey work than it is, like I say, the wetlands is where it is, and it, I don't think that, I'm not going to change where the wetland flags were. It just seems like the original survey plan showed you were going through the wetlands, and now well, the survey Well, there, there was three. I think there, if you look at the, the plan, there's a wetland flag 15 and a wetland flag 21. Right. So yeah. Bob, Bob Gray, there was a little finger that came out into, into okay. the abiding property, and he felt like those were not... Um, Legitimacy. He agreed. He, I think you guys are talking, saying right. the same thing. Right. He said there was a very distinct slope right. there. It right. was very clear where the wetlands are. Right. Right. And that's and that's the plan that you that I have okay. here. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's what I think is happening. Okay. So as far as what we're asking for tonight, again, if the thing moves forward, 
Um, we're not going. We'll, we'll come in and get the line fixed and review the line and uh, and whatever work needs to be done on the site. But for right now, we're just asking to be able to get a machine back there. We're actually going to use a mini excavator to get back there to minimize any type of uh, disturbance to the wellness. Right, because you do have to cross at least one now. Yeah, and, no um, question. No question. Yeah, so we, in the event that you don't come back, you know, say the perk is not good and there's nothing you can do out there, you know, I would want to see that, make sure that wetland it gets restored because you're going to go across it with no, heavy. We have you know. no problem with that. At all. Okay. No uh, problem. Bob, how far would you say that the distance to cross that one bigger section you're going to cross is approximately? Uh, 30 feet? Yeah, it is about 30 feet. And how deep do you think it is? Of uh, 10 feet wide, well, you mean like a. No, no, I mean. Oh, is it the, two feet of water or is it just. I don't believe ground. there's any standing wire. It's just, yeah, it's what was there. Hydric soils. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, I didn't see any stream channel out there, Mark, when I, I went out there. I don't think you're going to see a big muddy disturbance when the tracks go through there, if that's what you, you know. Well, I just, yeah, maybe, are up. there any precautions you might make with maybe throwing down some plywood or something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Big the mini is. Something. We, we'd be willing to, whatever you guys want us to do uh, as we cross that, we want to... Um, I'm not sure how close together the trees are here, mm. so I think we want to just try to weave in and out, but if you want us to put down plywood, we'll do that, you know? I, I think that's overkill. Just fix whatever you... Yeah. I, I whatever you think going to be... Fix it. Yeah, I'm, like said, that's why I'm asking how deep it is. I mean, if it's something that the mini yeah. will sink in six inches and go right across, mm -hmm. But obviously, well, he's, he's saying there's no My standing water. My understanding is that there's not standing water in there. It's not like super mushy. It's, okay. it's just a, it's a vegetated wetlands with uh, with uh, hydro soils up there. Yeah, we're not we're not going to specify what you're going to do. I just don't want to just we'll, fix, we have no problem. Problem. fix anything. Fix anything. Return it like Lenore said. Return it as close as possible to its current right. state. You know, if your machine sinks down six feet, it, come and let us know. Yeah, we're not yeah. we're not going to well, continue to go through it <laughs> if, we, if we start sinking down. We're yeah, that's the only thing. I, my only concern is yeah. that we let you do this, and then you need a bigger machine right. to get the little machine out, and it kind of becomes embarrassing. We'll, we'll let <laughs> we'll let you know if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. When yeah, Big Will not. comes out here to pull them out. <laughs> <laughs> I had Big Wheel come out to get one of my oh. backhoes out of oh, place boy. one time. I had Big Wheel come out to get my son's truck. Hold him in. Oh, boy. It's not uh, the weight, it's the suction. Get a yeah, get thing out. Speaking of that, is the mini going to be able to dig deep enough? I mean, what if you have to go, mm. you know, 14 feet? The well, minis only go about, what, 9 feet? Believe it or not, we looked at the soil survey. It's got very sandy soils here. So. Okay, so you don't think yeah, it's going to go down very much. Which is kind of, kind of surprising when you see all the wetlands mm. around it. But we do have, well, supposedly it's going to be very sandy, so it should be pretty okay. easy digging once we is get it up there. going to turn out to be like in a state lot or something? What? Well, it's, it's not it's uh, zoned, zoned, zoned for residential. No, it's zoned, zoned for industrial. industrial. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's probably going to be a park place. Another one. Another one. Let me add another uh, requirement then, uh, that when you do test pits, you notify us as well, so that if we want to be out there for, for a sneak peek. Yeah, uh, okay. of course, absolutely. All right. I don't know if it's in our standard conditions or not, but just... Well, this is a determination, so... Oh, no, that's right, yeah, yeah. To yeah. Make, just to make sure. So can we add a condition of just notification of start date to a yeah. uh, negative determination? Sure. Well, we can go with positive determination with no, no impact. Positive means you're going to file a notice of intent, though. No, there's one that, there's oh. one that says, I think it's three, that doesn't require a notice. Okay, let's, let me look at that. Let me read it uh, so we'll all know. Determination. Positive. One is yes. One is two. Two is yes. Yeah, three. The work is within an area subject and will remove. Therefore, said work requires. So that's not it. The work and documents are within the buffer zone and will alter an area. That's not it. So, no, Bob, I don't think no. there is. No. Six is that it's exempt. Well, maybe I read it wrong. Then. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. So it wouldn't be a negative determination. It's still a negative. Okay. And then we've got one, uh, negative one. The area is um, not jurisdictional. Two is the work is within an area subject to protection but will not remove, fill, dredge, or alter. Three is that the work is within the buffer zone but will not fill, dredge, or alter. So two? Two. Yeah, Chicago. two... Two or three, because the test pits, well, the test pits aren't even really in the buffer zone. No, they're right? not. Yep. Okay, okay, so. So it's just crossing, right? 
Yeah. Right. They are in but the buffer zone. They, they are, are in the, the buffer zone. zone. That's right. the 50 foot buffer oh, that we that's have in the, the plant, so okay. it's outside the 50. But okay, yeah. so we, we got Three. we got yeah. so that's one in you know crossing is activity in the wetland. Mm -hmm. The test pits are in the buffer zone, so. We could do two or three or just three. Maybe you want to read it, Mark? Yeah, just uh, yeah, right. I think that's the one I was thinking of. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even confirm the wetland boundary. So, yeah. negative three determination would be my recommendation based on what you came up with. Okay. Make a motion. Yes. Uh, make a motion to close the hearing and find a negative three determination on the RDA for 195 Bedford Street with the condition to notify the start date of the perk test to the board. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. This signature. is the signature page. Is this the plan? Yep, that's the new one. Any other plans? You all done, John, with that plan, or you want to keep it? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay. We're thinking about live streaming the Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Where's the first intervention right now, man? No way. Ten minutes in. Zero, zero. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Ever been there? No. I don't know how long I've been there. 50, 20 years. Because the guy that works there, I have never seen him dressed in anything <laughs> other than <laughs> the only thing that changes is the weight, yeah. depending upon season. I be, hope he's got a few of them. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be the number one Bruins fan out there. <laughs> It's probably in the select yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Moving right along. <laughs> RDOA for Oak Street. That. Well set. Yep. Okay. Next is an RDA for Oak Street, and according to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, you'll be hearing on a request for determination of applicability by Michael and Mastrangelo for the repair of a septic system within the 100-foot buffer zone to a bordering vegetated wetland. The location of the project is 2 Oak Street, Map 41, Block 7, Block 10. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Mm, we don't have any. And again, here. your name is Bob Forbes. <laughs> and where are you from, Bob? <laughs> okay, so this is another septic repair. Uh, failed septic this thing, uh, two bedroom house. Uh, we're on Oak Street and the corner of Oak Street and everything. Um, it, what you can see here is that we have uh, the, the wetlands are down here. We have a 50 foot buffer shown here. And so the entire system is outside the 50-foot buffer zone. Um, the tanks are essentially outside. One of them just clips the 100-foot buffer zone to the wetlands. So the only thing we're doing inside the 50-foot buffer is a little bit of grading for the, the system has to be raised. Uh, so a little bit of grading down. And that the, so the, the, uh, the, the silt 
slide that we're proposing. We're proposing 12 inch slip slide for uh, erosion control, and that ends up being 33.3 3 feet away from the wetland. Yeah, I had gone out to the site. I looked at it. Um, there was two flags that I didn't agree with, so I, I, I hung new flags just because they were right off the roadway and it was easy for me to do it rather than call the engineer to come out and do all that. So I notified Niles um, by email, and this plan is a revised plan that Correct. shows that. that reflects your flags. Right. I should have mentioned that. Right. Look at that. Right. So I don't have any problems with it. It's obviously an improvement. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think it's fine. So this is within the buffer zone, so it's a negative three determination. Yep. Is the site suffering right now with uh, all the rain that we've had and some of the other neighboring roads I know have been, have been flooded? Uh, Believe it or not, I have not been out to this site. Uh, this is Niles, as she mentioned, this is Niles' project. Oh, okay. This is handling the meeting for him. So. All right, so we'll bother him tomorrow. Yeah. Anybody else have uh, questions, comments? No. Can I make the plan? Make a motion, please. I'll make a motion to close the hearing and issue a negative three determination for 2 Oak Street. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Very much. Signature page coming around. Some of the stuff that one I realized that um, on number three I didn't correct it. I had this, this was from an earlier one, so mm -hmm. it's uh, I'll have to correct it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. <coughs> so I didn't see it when I printed it out that it's already. Right. We're going to make home meetings. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. All right, this with this. There's a lot of redundancy in it. Referring to the special versus yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know. When I first started doing that, like, what are they talking? About? I know. I'm like, I, 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 I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm just gonna. Well, no, we actually have a special special condition. <laughs> well, there's a personal layout. When I started looking at the special conditions, they just kept falling off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. Next, 141. Uh, County Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're calling it these days. We're calling it County okay. Street. It's, it, was part of the original, <laughs> it was part of the original 141. Mm -hmm. That's how we got that. Um, my name is Jeff Youngquist, Solid Back Engineering. And Elise Tripp, my wetland person, went out there and looked at the wetlands. We actually, the flag it. And basically, I have the original behind here. And we're like the wetlands, you know, yeah, but that's the original wetlands. This is what came in, pulled it in, and then looked back a little bit. And I believe Lenore, you were out there with the at least. No, I was out there by myself, right. uh, Jeff. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, and seems it, but in essence, what we did is we pulled everything down this way, away from the wetlands. Septic system stays exactly where it is, and uh, basically, that's what I think we answered all the questions. Here. Yeah, um, I did go out there, and um, as you know, what what sort of delayed this whole thing was that the, the whole lot had been cleared of all vegetation, yes. had been cleared pretty much up to the buffer zone, at least up to the wetland, at least where the wetland flags were. So I had said, I can't tell without the vegetation. I couldn't get into the soils because they were frozen. So I did finally go back there and was able to auger in, and I had no problem with this new line that had been established. The only problem was that in one area, some of the clearing had actually 
gone over into the wetland. Right into it, yeah. Right, and Elise had mentioned to me that um, the applicant was hoping to just allow that to revegetate naturally right. as opposed to doing any kind of replanting or restoration of that wetland. Yeah. So um, that would be the only concern I had and whether or not the commission would allow that to just, you know, go f forward with just natural revegetation or if they'd rather see some kind of plantings take place because it is in the wetland itself and not just the right. buffer zone. Right, uh, I think it came out to be the total area is about 1,100 square feet. 1,100? Yeah, 1,100. Mm -hmm. But it looks like maybe where the clearing was done was to the old wetland line? Yeah, whoever right. flagged it. We just found the wetland line. So if they were going to the flag, not necessarily... Right. It, yeah. it changed. Yeah. And they just went to the old flag. The old flag. Right. Right. And it, uh, yeah. Do we have a baby plan for these? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Got one with me. Yeah, let me just pull up the right one. Um, this is it, yeah. Sorry. I still got the old one open, yeah. So the plan was revised with the new, with the new wetland flags. Here's an old one. Yeah, that's, that's the, the old original. determination. That's the line from the determination that was done. Anybody else? Sure. Talk? Can we have another plan if anybody else wants to look at it? Uh, that's your old one. Has it been that long since? This is the old plan. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Do we have a copy of the new one? I should have it. Maybe I don't have baby ones. Maybe I've just got the new ones. I just, if I make a motion, I just want to have the yeah, this is DB file one. numbers and dates and stuff. Because we should probably take a copy. Right. This is the new one. The new yeah. one should have a revision date on it. Sorry, yeah. I don't have the right. I don't have good ones. Yeah. But I'd like to make a motion to accept the new plan for Lot 3 Highlands, also known as 141 County, dated April 3rd, 2019. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did they stump that? Or no. no. Well, they did the worst. There were some stumps left, so they didn't completely stump it. Yeah, the things that retain and grow back. If it was hardwood, you always say that the uh, hardwood set up shoots pretty quick, Joe. Yeah. So we do. Got a whole new forest in a couple of years. Did Lori give you a copy of an order of conditions for lot two and hybrid lane? No. No. Okay. Sorry. So, in the area of disturbance, I would be fine with not a restoration if it, it wasn't stumped, right. just to let it come back naturally. Mm -hmm. I think that's reasonable because it would probably to pull stumps and do more disturbance. It's going to do more damage, right? Yeah. He may do some cutting later because the pool is over there. Yes. So I'm glad the pool is keep the pool clean so the minute stuff gets going up and dropping leaves and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see it included on the plan, even if there are no immediate plans to put one. It makes it so much easier down the road. Well, that would be to put whatever you ever think that you're going to do. We always ask, exactly. where's the pool going? Yeah. Where's the elevator? Well, there's somewhere the sun is going. So this is north. So, so that's so south 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 they're probably pretty good with shade, no, no shade right now, because the sun's going to be on this side anyway. Yep. 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 There's quite a bit of woods in that area. That's yeah. all wet there, so it's... Yeah. How far did you pull the pool back? Five 20 feet. feet. Yeah. That's great. The fence is right up by the pool deck now. Yep. Yeah, right up here, right there. Yeah, right you look at, he can see right through. Yeah. Yes. There is, there is a house. I think that's... 
I think that's one of the persons I think they brought it to attention. Oh, yeah. 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 This was an NOI, correct? Yes, it was. Correct. Yeah, this is the one you're you're bringing uh, quite a bit of fill in this, aren't you? Absolutely. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fill. The water, yeah, high water table. That's the wetlands. There you go. <laughs> you all set, man. Yes. For the motion. Uh, no, I've got the. Okay. Thing. Anyone else have a, we're going to go with the board standard conditions? Yep. <clears throat> there was nothing else. We were yeah, nothing concerned else. about, he moved the pool back, and Other than we're going to let that area grow in. Right. Yep. So the fence line is fine. It's very flat out there, so I don't expect to have any erosion problems. So I'd like to make a motion to close the hearing and issue an order of conditions for the NOI on 141 County Street, also known as Lot 3 Highland, with all the board's standard conditions. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Signature page. Go ahead, Tom Baldy. We need a Bruins game every, every meeting. We need that good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if only it was that easy. If they make it through tonight. That's one true. Is it? Is it? One Who's good? That's it. They win. Yes. It's, it's over. If they don't win. It is over. It's yeah. over. It's over. It's game seven, so. You know what I told Fat Lady something. Yeah. yeah. It's good, you know. That's probably a politically incorrect statement. I know. You know <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell Yogi Berra. I resemble that remark. <laughs> A lot of people asking who Yogi Bear is. They oh. wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, the only other thing we have, well, there's a few more things. Joe, I have your order of conditions. So I'll I remove myself from the table for this? No, no there's just a few other things. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this is, I know that you have a few other just yeah. things to talk about. Just a couple of quickies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you, you get the Southworth Street uh, update, right? Yep. Yeah, here. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's the plan. Very good. Thank you. All right, a couple updates. Um, <clears throat> the other day I had reason to be out looking at uh, a, uh, Cedardale, one of the small uh, waterfront properties uh, developments, and I noticed that next door there was this huge clearing with uh, some machinery, and I said, this just doesn't look like it should, not like I remember it. So I went and spoke to the owner, and uh, they were indeed, they put in uh, some stone walls and some gravel roads and um, built a few sheds. And uh, I said, do you have a permit for all this? And he said, no. Uh, well, he, uh, at first he said no. And I said, well, did anyone, did you talk to anyone? And he said, yes, Nancy. And she had okayed the work. And I said, oh, wow. all right, uh, you might be pushing it a little bit. So, um, so I went and found the file, and indeed there was an RDA uh, issued uh, in, front of, in front of us. Uh, we, we voted to approve it uh, with the recommend, the, but the, the limit of work was remove four dead trees and, um, uh, and rebuild the shed, and, and, and it was limited to that. So he's really gone beyond and um, kind of at a crossroads now. Do we force him to go? Notice of intent after the fact, or you know, harm is done. done. Hmm? Is the work all done? Or is he in the process? It's he's finishing up. He was doing one more stone wall, but it's outside the buffer zone. Oh. Is this an existing dwelling that's there? There's a huge mansion on the top of the hill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the bottom, the base of the hill, there are these two cabins which are new. Uh, so one of them would have been included. There's a stone wall. There's a stone patio. It's terraced. Mm -hmm. So there's been some grading mm -hmm. done. There's uh, a gravel, a stone uh, driveway. Um, Quite a bit of work. A lot of, 
I couldn't see any trees that were cut recently, but all the brush, all the undergrowth is gone. All within the buffer zone? Half and half. Some of it, yes, some of it, no. So you would say two cabins? Hmm. Two cabins, yeah. I don't know if they're just for, for storage or if they use them like little cottages and you know, in the summertime or... or uh, what kind of a foundation do they have? I, don't, I didn't inspect the property because I wasn't... Mm, you just saw it and said... Because I think if it's on blocks, it wouldn't... Mm -hmm. It would be a shed, right? Mm -hmm. How big? If it, yeah, yeah, if it's... 12. Uh, oh, so it's not... I don't, you don't even need a permit for anything under, what, 120, 120 square feet? feet? Even if it's... Uh, well, if, as long as it's prefab. You don't. You can still, you can go closer to the lot setbacks, I think, legally, than a permanent structure, too. But if there's no fixed foundation, if it's on blocks mm -hmm. or something, I think... Yeah, pre blocks. It's in the buffer zone. It, and any of the work that was done there with, if a notice of intent had been filed, we would likely approve it? We probably would have approved it, yes, that's right exactly what I was going to say. Uh, it, it does come back to bite him, though, maybe, because if he goes to sell the property, and it's like, I don't know. So I'm just thinking out loud that it's like, well, you don't have a permit. For yeah, autos and conditions tend to protect the property owner. Yeah. Right. But in this case, it's, it's an RDA, which is a license to kill. Yeah. You know, once you've got that piece of paper in your hand, oh, well, I can do this while yeah. I'm here, while well, I can do that. Right. And it, I guess that's the reason why I'm bringing it up. We need to be careful mm -hmm. when we do RDAs uh, to, to specify what the scope of any work that's going to be done. But you said that was specified on the RDA. It was, mm -hmm. but only those two yeah, activities. So he went above and beyond on mm -hmm. his own. Right. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, thing to be specified is notice to the, to the board or the agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm just prior to work or something like that. Right, and you know, uh, sorry ahead, about, no, no, um, ahead. you know, he, he, he knew enough to file the original RDOA, so he knew that, you know, he should have, you know, to me it seems like, it's not like, oh gee, I didn't know. No, you did know. Yeah. You got the original RDA and then he decided to license to kill and said, oh, well, I guess I can, you know, so I don't, I don't see a problem with making him file after the fact an RDA. I mean, it's some kind just, of a, yeah, modification to the original one, or yeah. But uh, yep. I'm going to talk to Nate and see what he okay. says about the about the cottages and and because he seemed to think uh, when I first mentioned it that there was a originally there was an enforcement order. Oh. So I've been going through the files trying to see if there was one originally. But what's the address of the property? Seven Quail Run. Where Quail is that? Run. It's it's next to Cedardale, yeah. uh, Staple Shore. Uh, what's on the other side? Hemlock is on the other side. So, uh, yeah. Past the White Banks on the other side of the pond. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's directly opposite, directly in line with my house, but across the pond. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Oh, very, very steep. Yeah. Okay. There's only a couple of three houses back there. Yeah, there's another this, house. What do you have? A house on a swamp side? No, I'm, I'm on the other side of the mess, so I'm Oh, no, I'm off the pond. I'm off the pond. Yeah, halfway up there. This quail, quail runs on Long Pond, right? On Long Pond. Yeah. On Long Pond, yeah. 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 Um, Actually, it's, it's a horseshoe. Yes. Uh, it has two outlets. Who, who on was the owners then? Do you remember? Zion. Scott Zion. Scott Zion. Yeah. Now, quail runs <laughs> only got one outlet. It's Chase Road that Ch looks around. Well, there's, there is yeah, another right. one, but it's not, it's not official. It's not labeled. Oh, I didn't know there was a yeah. loop. It took me forever to find out how to get there. Yeah. Uh, through that 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 uh, maze of uh, mm. of roads, but um, like I said, I'll, I'll do some more research and talk to Nate and see what he says, and and come come back to you with a recommendation. I guess we just got to figure out what's not included in the original RDA, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think just a little more oversight on our part for something like that, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Keep, keep right. us in the loop. Let us know when. Right, right. I That's mean, what I'm trying to remind everybody when, yeah. at, at the hearings that they let us know so that we can do a better job of yeah. following up. Uh, if we don't know, you know, the work's been done. You know, we can't go chasing after people. We've got enough right. to do. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, How did you find out about it, Bob, again? Did you just happen to... Uh, we had a request by, on, on the phone uh, to go and look at 313 Pond Lane because they had three dead trees and they wanted to remove them and wanted us our, wanted our okay. 
So I said, okay, I'll come out and look at it, which I did, and it was fine. They could do it. Mm -hmm. But while, and I used to be the, the operator for, for Cedardale. Yeah. So I was familiar with it, and I looked over next door, and it was um, this huge clearing okay. they would never seen before. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's what triggered my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to have him at least get the permit for what he did. All it's right. Just, that would be my suggestion, but yeah, see of course it's up to the board. about but. that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we, we did County Street, uh, Southworth. Uh, Lenore, you want to give us a... Yeah. Um, Brad Holmes is the biologist for Mr. Pusateri. He got in touch with us um, with the understanding that DEP had been out there. DEP had recommended that Mr. Pusateri undertake some soil mm -hmm. testing because DEP didn't agree with where the wetland line was and thought that there may be some other areas that were not identified as wetlands that were wetlands. So um, the upshot is Mr. Pusateri has agreed to get a backhoe out there to do some test pits to basically try to better delineate the wetland. And the biologist and DEP have agreed to a date of May 1st at 10 a.m. Um, so that's the date they're going to be out there. I, I do intend to be there. I think, Bob, you may be able to be there. Joe, you're going to be there. So. It's certainly open to commission members to go and watch and look at these test pits to make a better determination of where the wetland line is, because that's the first step in figuring out where the restoration has to occur. So that's the next step is on May 1st to go out there and witness the, uh, the test hole diggings and come to some agreement, hopefully with their, bio with their botanist as to where the wetlands is and, and then revise their restoration plan if necessary to make sure that they've covered all areas. And I have a copy of the email here that uh, with some of the correspondence that's gone on between uh, DEP, uh, Gary McCutch, and uh, with, it wasn't who's Terry directly, was it? No. Oh, it was with Brad. Brad Holmes, who's the all were copied on that, I believe. I, I, didn't, I didn't know, but I've got here if anybody wants to read his, uh, his comments on, on the uh, site visit. Uh, yeah, you mean Gary's comments? Gary's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically Gary said do some test pits and um, restore whatever was wetland. Move the pond. Move the, yeah, remove the pond. The pond cannot stay. So um, they didn't have any, DEP did not have any trouble with backfilling that pond. They said, yeah. no, we don't allow a change in resource areas. If it was bordering vegetated wetland, you have to restore it to bordering vegetated wetland. You can't take wetlands and make a pond out of it. That's, right. and he said, if Mr. Pusateri wants a pond, he can put it someplace other than the wetlands. So um, that was kind of the upshot of his, his, his email. Okay. So that's May 1st, 10 a.m. And we would certainly want to know what material that would be filled in? My understanding is when you fill in a previously excavated pond, you can't do it quickly. It's going to settle be out. a gradual thing. It's got to settle out, or otherwise you displace all kinds of silty liquids yeah. Yeah. everywhere. Good point. Just so kill pretty, everything off. Pretty yeah. sandy the adjacent stuff. wetlands. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a time-consuming process. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a while before we see that area restored. <laughs> All right. Um, approval of minutes. You should have received March 12th and February 26th. But I think some of us just got them. So if you don't have comments yet, we can put it off till next time. I have reviewed both. You have? Okay. Yep. Well, then let's take care of it if you're if you're ready. <coughs> I make a motion to. You didn't see anything at all, right? I read through everything. Do you have any nope. grammatical changes nope. or? Nope. All right. Good. Motion to approve. The Tuesday, February 26, 2019, minutes of meeting as drafted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Is that it? Uh, we have, we have one, March 12. One, February 26. Oh. That That's was, the one. That was 26. That was the one. March did the motion. Then, yeah. Uh, so I have March 12th. Okay. Everyone else review them already? Yep. Joe, you have any changes? Nope. Motion to approve the Tuesday, March 12th minutes of meeting as drafted. Second. You can have them. Motion and second, all in favor. Aye. Okay, finally. Uh, railroad. Uh, no, that's not final. This is yeah. final. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was yeah. fun. My, my own yeah. condition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't see it on the. <laughs> it's, on the it's, well, it's in the any other business. <laughs> there's a, there's yeah, a yeah. surcharge. <laughs> <if you're laughs> <not on> <laughs> Uh, there's training for the railroad again this year, uh, so if anyone is interested, Ooh. March 2nd? No, May 2nd. My, I, well, I get my dates mixed up tonight. May 2nd, and where? Uh, 13 Harding Street. That's Route 44. Yeah. Hmm. In what town? Lakeville. <laughs> okay, because Harding Street goes, right goes through about us. three, yeah. four towns. towns. What's, what's there? That's where that little, uh, the, the restaurant and the, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that little plaza that little there plaza where there. the uh, yeah. Tutto Italiano used to be? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. I think that's what that, what that is. I haven't been there before. Oh. So anyway, uh, you don't need to register or anything. Uh, just show what, up. What's that for? Railroad. It's for training if you're going to uh, yeah, be going Yeah, you can't be on out on the rail on lines. The rails. Okay. Right. And, and, that's why, and, May, and these things are only good for one year at a time, which is so annoying. We did it last year. We did it yeah. last year, yeah. right. Is there a time? There is. <laughs> Can we have it? <laughs> oh, you want to know what time? I'm sorry. You I don't can tell me you. late so I, you know, I show up and nobody's there. That's fine. <laughs> I think it's nine, but I'll get back to you in the okay. show. And uh, our next meeting is the 14th, but that's... And now for the big moment. Yeah. <laughs> when is that the Mass Autobahn inspection at? No, that's the okay. Mass Autobahn is, is, uh, is what we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah. Mass Autobahn is doing an inspection of the conservation restricted property off of Howland Lane across from the high school. It's a rectangular piece of property out there that was. Across from the high school. Does that make sense? Because he was, yeah. I said, where is it? And he said, oh, it's on Highland Lane. Yeah. Highland across Lane. from the high school. I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I, I want to. Do they mean the big piece of land? Yeah. The 760 acres? No. It's a, it's a small rectangular piece right along the roadway. It's in no. the office, the map, because I looked it up the night. So it's next to a Ponicwood? Yeah, that, I right. wasn't sure if he was giving me the right directions, but that's what he told me. I, I thought it was okay. good, you got the guessing, but the big yeah, piece that's a cross. monster piece that actually goes off into another town, too. Yeah. But there's only a small section that was conservation restricted. And I guess, just to finish up, they just come out to make sure there's been no use of yeah. the property. Yeah, we don't even have to be there. We don't, we don't have yeah. to be there. It's just a courtesy okay. that okay. he's said, that's what I'm doing the inspection. If anybody from your commission would like to attend, here's when it is, so... Oh, so it's just that one property then? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, before we yeah. forget, earlier in the meeting you brought up uh, Josh and Wilford, mm -hmm. uh, Wilton about yeah. appointment. Mm -hmm. Has Have either of them heard anything? Do you, do you, do I have not officially he not. heard anything, but according to the Town of Lakeville website, I was changed from associate to member. And you were sworn in at the town clerks? I think I was sworn in as an associate. As an associate. You, yeah. I think you still have to get sworn in as a commission member. So I don't know if signing the signature pages tonight. Oh, good point. Might be an issue. Uh, Just go see the town clerk tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Usually they're pretty good about getting hold of you, yeah. get in here. <laughs> yeah, this is true. They did it to me because, yeah, yeah they yeah. were very, yeah. Well, we'll check into it tomorrow then. Yeah. And the only other thing that I have is that when Joe's order, Joe Chamberlain has an order of conditions that was issued, the information that was on the notice of intent was not right in terms of the book and page. So yeah. the book was right. The, the page, page was, was wrong. wrong, numbers got transposed somewhere along the line on the right. notice of intent, and then it got carried over onto the order of conditions. Right. So I have a new order to sign. It's really just, you know, I would label it a corrected order of conditions. There's really no place on the form to put it, but I... Is that the only issue? Yes. Yes, that was it. Do you need yes. a vote for that? Uh, no. I, I don't know. Or we just it sign? wouldn't be a bad idea. It's like, well, we're issuing a corrected order. I don't see the harm in taking a vote just to make Are it. Are we sure the corrected? How, how far off the right. numbers? <laughs> well, if, if they were transposed diagonally like this, we're not even sure if it came from our, our yeah, we're assessors or 
Plymouth County or what. And of course, we didn't know anything until I got down there and both my planning board plan and this were had the wrong page number. So he went to record it and said, and they and said no. So that's like, all it is, page number. Everything I, page number is the only thing wrong. Everything that's else the is only right. thing wrong. So the it book's was, fine. Oh, yeah. The book number's fine. It's yeah. just the page. Just page. That was it. So I make a motion that we amend or amend, amend correct the page number to reflect the actual property. Yep. Okay. Second. Well, what, what's the address? Uh, it's zero. It, well, it, it says know. it says z zero. Yeah, it says zero. You're no, no, sure. it's fifty-two Highland 52. Road. That's fifty-two the new High, Highland Road. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, so this one says project location is zero, zero. Highland. That I came see. from the notice of intent. Tent. Also known as. Also known. Oh, as. AKA. AKA zero <laughs> Highland Road. <laughs> Well, let's call it 151 Highland and see what happens, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a motion and a second. Yeah, motion. I second. You second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It says a top zero. <laughs> One last signature page. Oh, my goodness. One last John Hancock. <laughs> That's why I didn't use these, Bob, because I have okay. You can always use zero for new time. Yeah, I was saving for another time. Motion to adjourn. Second. We're going to entertain that. Should oh. we make sure about the next date? May 14th. May 14th. Yep. Which Can't is. Sign that. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get an email anyway, right? So yeah, should. Just so you know, though, ahead of time. Then Based you on vote. timeline. So. Uh, should we vote for the next? Do you usually vote for the next hearing? No. We haven't, but I have noticed uh, planning board does that. Oh. So let the planning board do it. Right. Just in case. Yeah. Do you want them to post our meeting? What's the date, Mark? May 14th. May 14th. Oh. Tuesday. I have a zebra. What time? May 14th? Yep. Oh, no. May 15th. So. Okay. Make a motion to schedule our next meeting for May 14th, 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. I can't, Aye. I can't say that. <laughs> he has to say that. Well, I can carry away. <laughs> <Yeah, my. laughs> He's hemming it on. All in favor? Aye.